Fast Signs family, Catherine here again. And this week I wanna share some ideas about the power of good habits and how to create good habits and do it in a way that makes them simple and easy to stick with and build upon later. So as you know, I collect quotes and one that I really, really love is from Brian Tracy that says, successful people are simply those with successful habits. And think about that, the more we can build successful habits, the more we can teach our children, our grandchildren to uh, develop successful habits, uh, the more we can teach our employees to develop successful habits, the more successful they will be in their lives. And for us personally, as we develop those successful habits, the more successful we will be in our lives. And so success is really the sum of small efforts repeated day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. Uh, I had uh, the pleasure of getting to know Jenny Craig some years ago. You may have remembered that she uh, created a weight loss brand. And one of the things Jenny Craig always said is not what you do once in a while, it's what you do day in and day out that makes a difference. And that's day in and day out stuff is really all habitual. There's a whole bunch of research that shows that 40% on average of everything we do every day is habitual how we get up in the morning, what we eat for breakfast, what we do first, all those kinds of things, 40% of what we do for most people is habitual. So the question is, are those good habits, average habits or not so good habits? Are those habits empowering you or doing the opposite? Are those habits limiting you or giving you unlimited opportunity? Are those habits helping you achieve what you want to achieve in your life? Are they helping you achieve being an amazing parent? Are they helping you achieve being an amazing and successful business owner? Only you can answer those questions. So your achievement really depends on the habits that you choose. And are the habits building the future that you want? I mean, that's really a question for you to ask yourself. And the reality is habits are a choice. It may not seem that way, but Doing them every day means you've chosen to do them every day. Sam Beckett said, life is a habit, or rather, it is a succession of habits. And uh, Jim Rohn said, motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. And then one of my favorite quotes is from John Maxwell. You'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. Abraham Lincoln, discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. And so really it all comes down to good habits are worth being fanatical about. And once you understand that you can change your habits, then you have the freedom and probably also the responsibility to remake those habits and make them habits that fill your life with the achievement of what you want to achieve. You've heard me talk in many of these videos about Ovid, the Roman philosopher, and he said habits change into character. In other words, lots of bad habits might lead to not the best character. Lots of good habits can lead to great character. So if you want to be successful or more successful than you're being, dropping some of your not so successful habits might be a good way to do that. So no matter how much you want something, the only things that you do with consistency day in and day out will really reap change and advancement in your life. So the best habits can bring us goal crushing success and the bad ones can keep us stagnant and from achieving what we want. So this all comes down to taking control of your destiny by creating great habits and implementing those habits or making them habitual and having them become a normal part of your daily routine. So I think of some of the habits of the most successful people I know, here are a handful of them. Number one, they're composed. You do not see highly successful people fly off the handle. Highly successful people know they gotta be in touch with their emotions. They have to understand and have emotional intelligence. They learn how to remain calm. You don't see a hysterical, highly successful person. Successful people are composed. So we can develop the habit of composure and remaining composed. Successful people are knowledgeable. They have understood the importance of never stopping learning. One of the five common characteristics of highly successful people you've heard me talk about, they have made learning a habit. 
because of that, uh, they're able to speak with certainty. They know what they know. Uh, and since they understand the importance of being able to communicate ideas effectively, they have worked very well on their public speaking skills. So they can speak with certainty. They're successful, they're composed, they're knowledgeable, they speak with certainty. And another thing I see in all highly successful people is that they are grateful and they are appreciative. They understand that they've been mentored by many, they've been assisted by many, and it takes the support of many to achieve the things that they achieve in their life. So you too can create these same kinds of habits, whether it's being composed, being knowledgeable, speaking with certainty, whatever it is you want, you can decide to create those habits in your life. Another quote I just love from Colin Powell, if you're going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception, it's a prevailing attitude. So how do we start being excellent in little things so that we do that so often we become excellent in the big things? So here's an example of developing the habit of composure. Read books and learn about emotional intelligence. Google emotional intelligence and understand what it means. Learn to start listening to your body when you start to feel your blood boil or you start to panic or you start to get upset understand the feeling of those emotions as they start and then decide to remain calm. Learn deep breathing techniques. Uh, in my years of therapy, I learned a couple really good deep breathing techniques that can help me. Learn the benefit of disconnecting and doing something relaxing 10 minutes a day, right? Those are the things that you can start building into your life so you develop that habit of being composed, a habit of highly successful people. Tony Robbins said, in essence, if we want to direct our lives, we must take control of our consistent actions. It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives, but what we do consistency, consistently. And 40% of what we do is habit, so let's develop those habits. So now I wanna share just some simple ideas on how to create good habits. And I have worked on these myself. I have used these same approaches for myself and they've worked very, very well for me over the years. Number one, start with a habit that is so easy, you can't say no, right? So let's think about what this is. You want to start an exercise program. Start with three minutes a day. I'm serious, not 30 minutes a day. You're not exercising at all right now. You wanna develop that exercise habit make a plan that you're gonna exercise three minutes a day. Don't kill yourself and go an hour and a half, three minutes a day. Day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, three minutes is very, very manageable. So what you're gonna do is focus on developing the habit and work on the intensity later. If you can successfully exercise three minutes a day for a month, it's gonna be real easy the next month to go to 15 minutes a day or six minutes a day. But it's about practicing in small amounts, building up that habit. Another idea, healthy eating. Instead of going completely clean eating day one, say I'm gonna eat one healthy meal a day and get in the habit of that one healthy meal a day. And you do that for a month, you might say, I'm now gonna to go to two healthy meals a day, right? So it's about making that habit so simple that it is easy, easy, easy to keep. And then you pick up the intensity later. So what might that be in a business standpoint? If you're in the outside sales role or if you're the owner without an outside sales professional, then you are in the outside sales role. It might be, I'm gonna begin prospecting. I'm gonna find one prospect a day and contact them, not an hour a day of prospecting, one prospect a day, and do that every day for 30 days and then decide in the next 30 days, maybe you're gonna to go to two prospects a day. Again, break it down, make it small, expand slowly over time. And that has really worked for me. The way that I built up my endurance to be able to go run five, six, seven miles at a time is I was walking and then I would run until I couldn't run any longer. That was a minute in the beginning. And then I just go back and walk. And then when I felt completely like no hard heartbeat, I'm all relaxed, run again until I can't anymore. And it was a minute, but now I can go run five miles. So what it was is starting small, not saying I'm going to be able to run five miles. It's 
I'm gonna go for a walk and then I'm gonna run a little bit until I can't anymore. And then it was amazing to see how that goes. Here is another idea. Take time to really understand what is holding you back. I have a friend and she wanted to get into exercising. And when we talked about it, what she really found is she hated having to drive 15 minutes to get to the gym. And even more than that, because she was kind of out of shape, she hated working out in front of other people. So once she identified what was holding her back, a 15 minute drive and being in front of other people, the solution was easy. Buy some online training videos, subscribe to some online training videos, just Google online training, look at YouTube, there's lots of free ones, and then just doing it a little bit every day in the comfort of her home, saving the drive time, saving the embarrassment in her mind, the embarrassment of exercising in front of other people. So for an outside sales professional, who never gets out and sells. And I can think of a couple that I've mentored that are in the Fast Signs Network today. And they say, just the day gets away from me. My suggestion was, sounds like poor time management is what holding you back. What if you did a half hour of selling as you drove to work? In fact, you made stops as you drove to work. Or what if you scheduled a half hour in the morning and a half hour in the afternoon to go out and sell? And people found that the fact what was holding it back was poor time management. They found that to be very, very, very effective. Here's another idea to help you develop and keep good habits. Develop a plan for when you fail. So we're all going to fail. Don't beat yourself up. Don't judge yourself. Don't feel guilty. Instead, have a plan to get back on track. Here's one way to do that. Set a schedule instead of a goal. So let's say the goal is to be able to do a hundred push-ups at a time. Rather than saying, I'm going to get to a hundred push-ups at a time, schedule five minutes a day for your push-up workout. And the first time you do it, you might only do 12, or maybe you can do 13, or maybe it's 40, but it's not a hundred. But what you've done is you scheduled that five minute time in your day every day. So you're setting a schedule, not a goal, but you're setting that schedule for five minutes. And surprisingly, as you track your results, you so you see you go from 12 push-ups to 32 push-ups to 60, and one day you're at 100 push-ups and it just blows your mind. So that is one way is to think about a schedule instead of a, a deadline. Um, how might that be for a uh, quote follow-up, right? Um, you know that quote follow-up is important. You want to get it done every day. But rather than saying, I'm going to follow up on all open quotes every day, you might fail at that. Create a schedule. 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon. 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the afternoon. Go after the schedule rather than the goal. And focus on the practice and you can practice quote follow-up, focus on the practice and not the performance, but that schedule will help you make pro um, progress every single day. Um, another idea, focus on building a new identity. Uh, use mantras or use affirmations to change how you think about yourself. Whenever I hear somebody say, I'm bad at remembering names, it's like, hey, let's talk about how to program your subconscious the right way. If you believe you're bad at remembering names, trust me, you're never gonna be able to remember names. Remembering names is a good habit. Let's start by an affirmation. I'm good at remembering names. And if you repeat that enough and start practicing remembering names, you're gonna be amazed how well you get at um, remembering names. Um, you might think to yourself, I'm just not the kind of person that can eat healthy or I'm just not the kind of person that can exercise regularly. Okay, let's switch that around. I eat healthy. I enjoy exercise. Those kinds of thought processes or affirmations will help you change how you think about yourself, which will make it easier for you to develop those habits. And another secret that has worked very, very well for me is having the motto, never miss twice. We're all going to miss once. We're all going to forget to do that three minute of exercise in the beginning, but let's have the motto never miss twice. In other words, we're not going to miss two days in a row. Let's get back on track. It is absolutely possible that I could eat a whole pizza and I will feel guilty and beat myself up. Nope. Nope. What I'll do is I'll say, I forgive myself and I'm going to make sure I eat healthy in the next meal. It could be that we're going to make a prospecting call every day. We skip 
And then we're going to say, I'm going to make sure I get back to making prospecting calls tomorrow. So I hope you got some value from uh, my stream of consciousness about the power of developing good habits and some insight on how to create them. 40% of what we do is habitual. And if we practice these things and we practice creating good habits, those will propel us forward to achieve all we want to achieve. Thanks for spending some time with me.